Hey Kid Lex here. Hey everyone. How's it going guys? So tonight we're really excited because we're going to do something special. And it was yeah. really hard to find. Uh, it's from my personal collection of music. Uh, it's not on Spotify, so this is a special one. <laughs> um, so today we're going to do some Gordian Knot. You saw it in the title. And Gordian Knot has the masterminds of Sean Malone, Ron Jarzembeck. Sean Malone played in, uh, played in bands like um, uh, Cynic, uh, Agora, Anomaly, and then of course Ron Jarzembeck, Spastic Inc., uh, Blooded Science, oh, Watchtower. Oh, King Crimson, Trey Gun. Right. Oh yeah, he, oh, oh my god. Um, yeah, I didn't even know that. So that's cool. And then th there's another track with, of course, um, um, uh, from Dream Theater here, we have John Myung, but he's not on the track that we're going to play tonight, maybe the next one, if you guys like it. So are you ready? I'm ready. This I have no a... idea what to expect. I've never heard this. Right. Um, let's just dive into it and then you see what you, if you like it, what okay. you think about it. So let's just dive into Sounds it without good. any further ado. All right. By the way, we just got new headphones. Yay. This is very yeah, exciting. Yeah. And this is our first... Uh, reaction with the new headphones. Uh, we did a live stream with them, mm -hmm. uh, so that was pretty cool, but we're really excited. Yeah, they really sound different. You mm -hmm. hear the music way, way louder yeah. and clear, and it's just great. It's great. All right. All right, go. so uh, let's go ahead and dive into this. Okay, one. So let's go back and... Definitely hear Ron Jarzombek in this. Like, I could have guessed that. Um, he has such a unique style. Like, I can definitely hear like spastic ink, you know, in there too. So, um, it's really good. I liked it. I like that like soft, 
Bum, like bum, it brought it like a little tear to my eye. <laughs> that, was nice. that was a nice change, and then it went back to. I don't know if I'm screaming, by the way. Because, no, no. Okay. No, no. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Like, I love this. Oh my god, that solo. And then. Yeah. Like how he just comes in is ridiculous. I just love him. It's really, really great. Such and a good the bass technique. is really That's like, alone. awesome. Very. I, I like that it's like, um, I don't know, very strong. Distinctive. Very distinctive. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a progressive masterpiece, this album, Gordian, not like guys. Please support the artist. It's yeah. from 1999. We'll put the link in the description that. like we always do for the yeah, albums. Yeah, and Ron Jarzombek is a master. I mean, all these people are masters. It's yeah. a super group. It's like liquid tension or, yeah, you know, like definitely. Black Light Syndrome. But yeah, let's keep going. Okay, let's You're, go. Let's like, this now, this, since we're not doing Spotify, <clears throat> we don't hear the fade out. So we're going to oh, yeah. go back a little bit. Okay. But uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you.
face at the end like really reminded me of Tool. Like oh yeah, the, yeah, like the tone and everything right. of the yeah. bass there. But wow, that so, was really something. That was isn't that awesome. I really like and the that, whole yeah. the whole record is like this. It's just amazing. I could definitely listen to that, especially that last part, like where it really started to like calm down in that melody. Like it was just so welcoming, you know. So just and there's like, a lot warming. of yeah. And there's a lot of uh, songs on this record that are very soft, but a lot of jazz and yeah. a lot of like. That's another reason, for example. People ask us like, why don't you know? Why didn't? Why don't you know Steely Dan? That's another reason. I was submerged <laughs> in this kind of music uh, where there was no entrance for other right. stuff. Like I was like very seclusive to like very strange music. Brian Eno, um, the guy. What, 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 what's the name? For, um, I forgot his name. The the guy who wrote the the theme from the Exorcist. Oh, Mike Oldfield? Mike Oldfield. I was like into really weird stuff, very under... Sean Lane. Oh, although, yeah, Sean Lane, Alan Holdsworth, Spastic Inc. and stuff like that. And I was just like, hey, you know? So yeah. <laughs> don't blame me anything. I'm, I'm looking... I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm like <laughs> finding my pathway. So it's kind of weird, but it's like really cool. Like, yeah. Um, I love this. This whole this uh, was we should, great. We I should really, cover this entire like record. I agree. And I share really it. really liked it, and it's also I was thinking it's cool that it's not on Spotify because it's like it feels much like personal. much more personal. Yeah, when you're yeah. listening to it, and you're like, I own this. You know? Yeah, this like, is on this my. Is this is, my... is I bought this album. It's on my hard drive. Yeah. Um, I love this album. It's. Uh, fantastic yeah it's like, well thank um, you guys so much for being here um if you like this let us know if you have any suggestions of anything else that we should listen to uh please leave them down below we read all the comments um, yes so thank do. you all so so much for your support and um you guys take care we'll see you in the next one thank you bye, bye.